Okay, so we're going to continue um, with our discussion about multiplying fractions. So what we're going to do today is we are going to multiply these fractions and it says that you can leave them as an improper fraction. So what we're going to do today, we're going to leave them as improper fractions and we'll come back and revisit that and try to convert those into mixed numbers. All right, so let's go ahead and we know a lot of things about multiplying fractions. We know that we simply multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. So if I were to rewrite this, I could rewrite this as five times one over two times two. So then it looks more like what we're used to seeing. So we're used to seeing the multiplication problems like this. So we're multiplying the numerator, which five times one is five, and then we're multiplying the denominator, two times two is four. Now, when I look at that, I know that that's an improper fraction. I know that's more than one whole. How do I know that? Because when the numerator and denominator are the same, we have one whole. So if I did four fourths, that would be one whole, and that would have one fourth left over. So I know that that's an improper fraction. All right, so let's go ahead and rewrite this. We'll rewrite the numerators, multiplying them together, two times 13, and then the denominators, four times four. Okay, so I know that two 13s is 26, and I know four times four is 16, and so now I have 26 sixteenths as my final answer. All right, number three. Number three, now I'm looking at this, I cannot multiply this the way it is. I'm gonna to have to change this into an improper fraction. So I'm gonna keep my half times, and what I have to do is I multiply and I'm going to write this out here to the side. 3 times 3, and then add 2. So 3 times 3 I know is 9. 9 plus 2 I know is 11. So that would be 11 thirds. So half times 11 thirds, that would be the same as saying 1 times 11, and 2 times 3. That would give me... 11 sixths. I'm going to circle these. I could write them over here to the side too, so that it would be easier for you to check. All right, so I've got 11 sixths. Now again, I've got a mixed number times a fraction. So I'm going to multiply, then add. All right, 3 times 3 is 9, 9 plus 1 is 10, so I've got 10 thirds times half, which when I rewrite that, it's 10 times 1 for my numerator and 3 times 2 for my denominator. 10 times 1 I know is 10, 3 times 2 is 6, so I've got 10 sixths. All right, now I've got two mixed numbers. So I'm gonna to have to do multiply then add here, multiply and then add here. So five times three is 15, 15 plus one is 16. So that would be 16 fifths. Remember my denominator doesn't change when I um, create the improper fraction. So when I finish with this one, my denominator is gonna be fourths. Four times one is four, plus two is six, so six fourths. So that's the same thing as saying 16 times six and five times four. 16 times six is 96 and five times four is 20. So we've got for number five, 96 twentieths. All right, number six. So now I've got three times three plus two, 
because I've had to change that to a, an improper fraction. So I've got 3 times 3 is 9. 9 plus 2 is 11. 11, and I keep with my denominator, so there's thirds, times 5 halves. It's the same thing as saying 11 times 7 over 3 times 2. So 11 times 7 is 77, and 3 times 2 is 6. So I have 77 sixths. Boy, those look strange. All right. Number 7. So we start off with 7 thirds. We're okay with that. But then we have 2 and 1 third. We need to change that to an improper fraction. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. So that's the same thing as saying 2 7 thirds. So we've got 7 times 7 and 3 times 3. So that is 49 ninths. All right, 49 ninths. We've got 9 fourths and 17 fifths. So neither one has to be changed. So we have 9 times 17, which is 153. Twentieths. All right. So that would be 153 twentieths. All right. So I'm going to go back up through here and um, maybe tomorrow and work on figuring out what these would be as mixed numbers. All right. What I would like you to do this evening is I would like you to do numbers 9, 10, 11, and 12. So you only have one where you're changing it into an improper fraction. So I want you to pay attention closely. You're going to multiply and then add. All right? So I want you to try those. If you have any questions, go ahead and email me. Keep watching. Keep thinking. Always stay curious. And I'll see you tomorrow.